Okay, you guys, I'm really excited about doing this video today because it's all about natural curls. We're gonna be going through my natural curly hair routine and thank you Nexus for sponsoring this video. So let's get this curl party started. So it's been really cool to actually read through your comments and a lot of them have been about my natural curly hair routine. And there's actually gonna be another hair routine in a couple of weeks on The Housey Life. Nexus actually has new hair products that are targeted toward individuals with naturally curly hair. It's called Curl Define and it is scientifically proven to give your curls strength from within. So they have figured out what hair needs on the inside so that it can actually look amazing on the outside. One of the most important things about having absolutely gorgeous natural curly hair is moisture. Your hair needs moisture, moisture, moisture. So that's why we're gonna start with the Ultra 8 pre-wash treatment. It's full of just that, moisture. So first we're gonna wet the hair. Don't be afraid to look wet. Like just go for it. In the winter, this is the part that I hate the most because you're cold. But thank God it's not the winter now. All right, so we're just gonna add our pre-wash treatment in our hair. First, I just like to kind of like rub it through the entire hair. Make sure you do not forget the scalp area. So I, I call it like just one big sweep. <laughs> just make sure you get all of your hair from top to bottom. Don't forget to love on your ends. Then to make sure, ooh, get a little massage. Sometimes we need to just do this to ourselves. This makes sure that it really gets in there. Oh my goodness. And oh, okay. Now we're going to section the hair. Let's part the hair in half. We're gonna do one side. Make sure you get it all in there. Then you get the other half. So we split it in half, then we split it again. So in total, you'll have sectioned your hair in fours. Oh my goodness, this feels like butter. Actually, I think there is. Oh, there's shea butter in it. I was right. We're just gonna make sure all the hair strands get some of that treatment. And don't forget about your kitchen, which is the back of your hair. That's what we say. Oh, you see how it just kind of just, oh my goodness. It just works through the hair. It detangles your hair for you. So you don't really need a comb. And honestly, the best thing you should do with natural curly hair is try detangling your hair with your hands first. All right, so now we're getting the other half of it. Like so. And then, once you've done that, you're gonna do the other side. We've done the other side. Now we're just gonna let this treatment sit in the hair for about 10 minutes. And this would be great for you to kind of like maybe catch up on your work emails, maybe look at social media, meditate, self-care. That's important. Now it's time for steps two and three, shampoo and conditioner. I'll see you in a bit. So I have showered with the Curl Divine shampoo, which is sulfate free. And I'm putting in the Curl Define Leave-In Conditioner that has marula oil. And the Curl Define Leave-In Conditioner actually helps lock in the moisture for curls 3A to 4C. I love how diverse it is. Your curl pattern actually changes, I feel like, with growth 
and with pregnancy and with how you actually treat your hair. When I was younger, it was straighter. And then once I hit puberty, it got really curly. And then when I got pregnant and had my kids, it went straight. And then once all my new growth came in, I had a completely different head of hair. I had to learn through trial and error on how to take care of my curls. Um, I had to learn the importance of protective styling. I can't really blow dry my curls. Some curly hair individuals can, but the moment I blow dry my hair, it actually damages the curl. So if you ever see me with straight hair, it's probably a wig or a weft. So it's not really my hair because I want to keep protecting my own curls, which is the reason why we call it protective hairstyling. You wanna make sure that all your curls are evenly coated. So don't be afraid to, as I mentioned before, to really wet the hair. I think that is a step that a lot of people confuse or miss because Either they wet their hair too much so that <laughs> you don't get enough product in it, or you don't wet it enough so that your hair won't get that curl that you want. When I was younger, my mom did my hair so well. Like, it was so healthy, so good, and I think it's because she kept it moisturized throughout um, the day, morning, noon, and night. So I had to learn how to do my hair through trial and error. So there were times where I wouldn't put the right amount of moisture in, I would put too much water or not enough, and then eventually it just becomes habitual. And then also what's interesting about curly hair too is you wanna make sure you have the right products. That is key. So Nexus actually did some research and found that the actual protein in curly hair is different than the protein in straight hair. Don't be afraid to really get your hands in there. When I go to a hairstylist, and they do my natural curly hair, and they're like, then I know, oh God, this is gonna be a bad situation. <laughs> yes, your hands are gonna get dirty. Yes, your hands are gonna get oily and moisturized. That is a good thing. We have mar marula oil in this one, so you're definitely gonna feel that goody goody goodness. <laughs> and I think a lot of the times too, people don't understand how long it takes to do your curly hair too. Like, it's a process. Adam loves my hair naturally curly, so he understands that it takes time. <laughs> so he'll kind of just let me know if we, if we have the time to do it, if we're going somewhere. Um, so say we have to go somewhere like, at six, he'll be like, are you gonna wear your hair curly? <laughs> and now what I'm gonna do is scrunch, 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 scrunch. Make sure I really get all those areas. There are some curls that don't wanna act right, so then I will kind of like, um, just kind of define them around my finger, and then I scrunch. If you don't hear, like, that scrunch, that means you don't have enough water in your hair. You want there to be a little drip drip. You, it's okay if you see like globs of water or product, <laughs> kind of when you go through it. Like, you, oh, you hear that? That's me hydrating the hair. That tells me I have enough water in it. I started my natural curly hair journey when Aiden was born, so maybe about seven years ago. And I noticed that there were lots of people who were going through the same thing. 
and I became a part of this natural curly hair community and that was nice because you get lots of support because growing up I didn't see a lot of people like me I didn't see a lot of people that had curly hair like me so I think with me posting my natural curly hair online I guess curly haired people it was nice to see that they weren't alone so now what you're going to do is you're going to style it in the direction that you want your hair to go in and naturally my hair is telling me it wants to part this way. This product is actually infused with protein fusion, which is great for curly hair because it gives it the strength that it needs. Curly hair is easily broken off. You can get split ends if it's dry. See how every curl is taken care of. No frizz, which is nice. That's what we like. Although, sometimes a little frizz is a good thing. It means your hair is actually healthy. We call that good frizz. And so now I'm just going to diffuse these curls and then we'll see what it looks like. So the key in diffusing is don't touch your hair. <laughs> if you see me, you see that I'm patting it. And then you'll see me kind of lean to the right, lean to the left, and then I'll flip my head once it starts to get a little bit more dry. If you do touch your hair too much, you are manipulating your curl, and that's what you don't want. It'll really start to get frizzy, and you'll lose that definition that all of us curly hair people absolutely love. This takes forever, but here we go. Flipping the hair actually creates volume and a crook in your neck. So you see how I'm starting to get that volume at the top of my hair? How feels that? I learned this really cool trick from this hairstylist. You don't want your curls to look sometimes too put together. You want it to feel a little free. And what he taught me, he actually does Halle Berry here. He taught me to get the blow dryer without the diffuser afterwards. You kind of just like go through it a bit. See, that's gonna break it up. Just a little bit. So it doesn't look too reformed. Because then what's the fun in that? I always say the bigger your hair is when it's curly, the better. My goal is to have my hair like all the way down my back. That's my goal. Um, I've been on my natural curly hair journey for some time. My hair is actually this long. But because of the curl and because it's very healthy, it seems shorter. So for me, it's all about framing your face with um, a hairstyle. So far, so good. You don't wanna mess with your curls too much because then it'll really frizz. But so I let it dry a little bit and then I get a, a pick and I start just picking through my hair and that helps me get the volume. I'm just gonna let my hair dry fully and I'll come back. So as you can see, my curls are on and popping. Has the perfect amount of oil, perfect amount of moisture, so the hair isn't weighed down. It's bouncy. We have those curls that are gorgeously defined. If you guys want to learn more about Curl Define from Nexus, all you have to do is go to nexus.com. You can get these products at anywhere you shop. They're affordable and easy to find. Thank you, Nexus, so much for sponsoring this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe to The Housely Life.